Hi guys, in today's video, I will show you how to change Teflon tube. This tutorial is intended for our customers. Our printers use the E3D V6 light nozzle. If the printer extrudes the filament irregularly or the hopped pulley motor is skipping, the Teflon tube is probably choked with grime. You should replace it. The new Teflon tube can be ordered from our eShop. However, not always this problem is caused by damaged Teflon tube. Therefore, before you decide to replace it, check these issues first. Try to increase the nozzle temperature. When printing from PLA, temperature increasing from 210 to 220 degrees Celsius usually solves the bad filament extrusion. Next step is to check thrust on the hopped pulley. Find the optimal tightening of the idle bearing springs. Bad filament extrusion may be caused by clogged hopped pulley or its wrong position on the motor shaft. Tutorial how to clean it is in our previous video. Next, in LCD menu in settings switch from silent to high power mode. The printer will be louder, but motors will be supplied with higher power. Sometimes the problem is caused by clogged nozzle end. After heating the nozzle try to clean it. Acupuncture needle works the best. Lastly, check filament holders. Filament spool is supposed to spin freely. If the printer after all these steps still doesn't extrude the filament evenly, we will start with Teflon tube exchange. You need to disassemble the whole print head. To get to the nozzle, we need to move the extruder upwards. We will choose settings in the LCD menu, move axis, move Z axis and set the height. You have to heat up the nozzle to get rid of the left filament in order to properly loosen the nozzle end. We will choose settings again, then temperature and set the temperature of the nozzle to 255 degrees Celsius. After heating the nozzle, we will hold the heat element with a branch and loosen the nozzle end itself about half the thread. Then we unscrew the cooler from the nozzle, the screws from the hop pulley, the two front screws which are holding the extruder together, and at last screws that are holding the motor. Now you can divide the nozzle cover. Beware, the nozzle body is still hot. Then we unscrew the nozzle body from the heat element. We pull out the Teflon tube with pliers and carefully insert a new one. The damaged Teflon tube has its end burnt and it's necessary to replace it. For better inserting a filament, one of the ends of Teflon tube is enlarged. This end has to be at the print head entrance after the assembly, so insert it by the other end. After securing the tube with the black ring, the tube should lap over a bit on the other side. Thanks to that, the tube will properly adhere after the tightening. We join the body with the heat element again and check if the black ring is secured. We put in the body with the heat element back again to the plastic part of the head. The plastic cover is shaped by the nozzle body, so there shouldn't be any problem with putting it back in. The Teflon tube should be in line with the head entrance and the heat element with the head vertically. We put back on the other part of the plastic cover and we assemble the head using screws holding the motor. Using the two front screws we attach the head back to the guide rods. We return the hopped pulley to its position and then we install the fan. Don't forget that the airflow has to be from outside to the head. The wires are kept in the groove on the top of it. After that we just heat up and tighten the nozzle end. At last we just check if everything is ok by inserting a new filament. Thank you. 